You're in the no-gravity zone as the Space Task Force launches right now. I'm George Schellinger along with rocket scientist, space advocate, and the unofficial mayor of Titusville, Florida, Tim Bailey. Tim, what's up? <laughs> Love that four square. We are out here ready for the launch of STS-132. We're going to see Atlantis probably on its final flight. We've been out here for the past few days with the Space Vidcast crew. Space Vidcast. Woo! Very awesome. So uh, if you guys are, are watching uh, the next launch, be sure you turn into Space Vidcast. And every Thursday night, turn into Space Vidcast. You never know what's going to happen, but it'll always be cool. They're out there. This is their first time to see a launch. So it's really great for us to be able to, to share this with other people in the media, but also to be here just to, to share it with you and to take some of the behind the scenes stuff that we really haven't gotten to do before. Uh, one of the first things we did was RSS rollback, which is the rotating service structure on, on the space shuttle that covers up the payload bay while they're well, after they get it out to the pad, they want to cover that up, load in all the payload, and so the night before launch, they open that up, and that was phenomenal. And it's really cool, unveiling of Atlantis for the last time, a lot of people out there to see that, and it, it's always cool when they roll that thing back, you see Atlantis poised and ready to fly, so that was a great experience. It really was neat, and there were a lot of people out there, there are a lot of people out here today, just a whole lot more people than what uh, anybody's used to seeing, so they, they weren't even sure we could all go out yesterday, so we were really lucky to be able to get out there, uh, see the rotating service structure come back ever so slowly as it revealed uh, just amazing amazing the space tweeps um, the NASA is having another tweet up here at the Kennedy Space Center so there are a lot of people that are just out uh, in the media on Twitter and they're able to come out and, and see the launch that's right and so the, the next thing we did this morning a little while ago around 10 30 this morning we watched the crew of STS 132 get on board the uh, the van on the way to the launch pad so that was great seeing these six astronauts get ready to go. Which may be the last time. So when they're done with all of their spacesuit checkouts, they come out of the operations and checkout building and they walk about 15 feet over to the iconic Astro van that they take out to the launch pad. And that's the last time that anybody gets to see them before they're on the pad uh, and that white room team closes them up. So this was the last time that any of their friends and family, people that had trained with them, could actually come in and watch them as they go out. So it was a great time to, to tell them congratulations and give them a big round of applause and we had about 200 people there doing that. And we, we actually launched a, a launch uh, by the uh, turn basin and that's where the uh, astronaut van parks right there. So that's somewhere over there, way off in the distance there. That is, that is where Atlantis sits on the pad, ready to go in just a few minutes. Um, so let's go to launch, let's watch the launch and then we'll be back with some final thoughts. to the International Space Station, and look at this, we have some very special guests. We've talked about- You doubled in size, where'd we come from? We, it's, it's, it's a family now. So, um, guys, thank you very much for uh, letting us uh, be on the uh, Space Vidcast today. It's always a pleasure, and, and great job on the work you're doing in, in getting, you know, getting word out about this program and, and what it means and, and why it's important we continue to focus on. It. We're well, so glad that you guys got to come out today to actually see it in person. Oh, and, you know, and thank for all your help, really, because you guys helped us, you know, you helped us get down here, really. So thank you. Now this was your first launch. What'd you What'd you think? I'm was still it... trying to like not cry. I like it's really. Ah, oh, it, there aren't any words. Y'all are looking at me. <laughs> like, yeah. It's pretty amazing. Now, so you all, you all been doing this for a while. You got to come down here more. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I know it. well, there are only two left, right? It's important to see these final historic moments in time and actually view them in person. You, where were you when the space shuttle program stopped? You know, this is something that you're going to be able to tell your kids and their grandkids and your grandkids and so forth and so on. And it's it's just one of those moments in time you can't miss. Yep. The the end of an era as the space shuttle retires. Tim, thoughts? I, 
You know, it's great to, that you guys broadcast NASA TV and they do these great shows in HD. Oh, yeah. But but it's like watching a concert in HD. You just really, no matter how great you get the fidelity, it's never going to be the same as, as feeling, you know, I, and it was that's great it. sound today. You, you feel it. Feel your, yep. My pants were vibrating around my legs. <laughs> you know, that's. it sounds weird to say that, but that's absolutely how it is, and it's just a visceral experience that you can't get any other way. And you guys do a great job of bringing people in and getting them excited, but now you guys got to get off your butts and come down. And come down. That's all there is to it. Fly from Australia, you know, get get over here and watch one of these things. You will not regret it. You'll Absolutely. Know, and it's a great experience. So until next time, now when can people um, when people tune in? Uh, uh, every, Friday every Friday, mornings, 2 a.m. Coordinated, coordinated Universal, Universal time. time. There you go, in sync. Just all right, like very, very coordinated Universal time. Or anytime there's a launch of anything interesting going on, tune in. Space Vidcast will be there with an HD feed of NASA TV and their own brilliant commentary to, to make sure that it's color, colorful and fun. Colorful and fun. <laughs> fun yes okay thank you for joining us for the launch of sts 132 until next time we we'll will see you, see you in, in space. space wait you are supposed to join here i mean okay, wait, hang on. Here we go, we go, we go. and we'll, we'll see, see you in space. space there you go all right we got that one <laughs>